I mean, my process is me constantly looking for what my process is. Like, I, that's my process. I'm like, oh, this worked for that song, so let me do that again. And it's, it's always its own fucking thing every time. It's always something different. Yes. I wish I knew what it was, but my process is just chaos, really. Yeah. Uh, now we're off to Chernobyl in Brooklyn where I uh, rehearse in a sweat box with several other fully grown men and uh, try and make a show for people to enjoy. waiting for that damn train. I probably will be there for another four weeks before I get evicted or before someone realizes what we're actually doing there. I mean, it's like one of those spots where people tell you like, oh, 15, 20 years ago, I had the best space in New York and you can't find spaces like that anymore. Well, I got my own space that you can't believe you have and I can't believe I have and I'll probably get arrested soon, but it's worth it. Definitely worth it. You think fucking Justin Bieber has to do this? Yeah. All right, be careful. I'll give you the grand tour. This is where I would make a record. Some haunted house shit. This is where we hang out. <laughs> And then we're inside like a, a warehouse in the 1800s right now. So it's definitely haunted. And we just kind of came in here and we're definitely not supposed to really be here or doing this. And I just made myself like a little space to make music. This thing is a little wonky. We're home. This is Chernobyl. I've been here a couple weeks now because in New York we just have to like bounce around from little room we can whenever we can get it. Um, and we rehearse in here, it's like 100 square feet and the AC doesn't really work and it gets really hot. But you know, we'll rehearse for our big shows in here and yeah, it's the, not the best simulation of what those stages are like, but it gets the job done, you know ceiling tile it's just endless warehouse it just goes on forever you know like it's a, a cr crazy space this is like an only new york kind of space to me you know for sure mm -mm. once i'm finished with it how close to the is that Oh, it's very far from being done. Here! Yeah! Very far, unfortunately. Motherfucker. This thing that I've been using for like 10 years, this little t piece of crap just broke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me.
Everything's killing me. Family's trying to kill me. The past is killing me too. My marriage is killing me too. And Father Time is still killing me. Father Time. Past is killing me too. My marriage is killing me too. Father Time, yeah, that's killing me. Father Time, yeah, that's killing me. I dug it back up from the dead, and I just today started just putting some vocals and more guitars on it to really give it some kick in the ass. This live, I would fall off the stage. I would never go, whoa, I would go right on. <laughs> you know, it's like one of those just like all on the hips. do with it beyond this but I just want to get like a demo vocal on it and just start mapping it out. A lot of stuff gets done here but I do stuff like all over the city you know it's my apartment it's in the coffee shop it's on the subway it's on the Jersey Transit it's in New Jersey it's just wherever I have the idea I have it like if I have it in my bedroom then it's a voice note and that's where I demo it I on a voice note um, but here a lot of records happen as well and you know I'm just focused on rehearsing right now in this spot, so. It's cozy, but it's probably the nicest rehearsal spot I've had in a minute. So it's actually, you know, even though it's in an abandoned warehouse that has asbestos and clearly nuclear radiation. Um. We cheer up, boys, they in the hole. We all know the rock and roll. We cheer up, boys, they in the hole. We all know what we're told. Stay, you are down on the wall. Let the bloody see now. Women, boys, men, you are both. We all do rock and roll. Stay, where you are down on the wall. Let the blood. I should have let you let me a long time ago. It's a real science we got going here. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be dope. Cheer up, boys, and no. We all know what we're told. Then we are down alone. Let the body see now. We've been boys, man, you post. We all know the rock and roll. Nobody has a chain now. Nobody. Nobody else wants to change no, 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 no. I just like put together images I enjoy. This is a picture of a car I found in a thrift shop upstate. This is a, uh, I don't know what the fuck this is, but I just like this. This is probably some Catholic shit. Uh, and I found this at a thrift shop in Maine. And everyone comes in there and they're like, oh, are you religious? And I'm like, uh, this for me is the ultimate. Yep. Like this red cape and the drama of all things Freddy, I'm just in love with, like in love with. So. I always have been since I was a little kid. I mean, I'll probably be kicked out of here any day now, so I'm just kind of enjoying it while it lasts. <laughs> I 
record our rehearsal, record our show, and then I would listen to the show on the walk home and just kind of like try to objectively listen and see if it just feels like a masterful performance or not, you know? So I love live albums. I listen to like Queen live albums and everything I can get my hands on. And it's like, is it at that level of show? I don't know. like a monster I invented when I was a young child. That's rocks. And now I am the monster. <laughs> you just become the monster you were scared to be. And then we all die. And the uh, pork and chive dumplings. Okay, for here? Yes. Six down, please. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, Charlie's. It's like it's a very lonely process, you know? Um, it's like very isolating. It's just kind of me in a sea of people poking in and out of other people's lives to work on my records. But then at the end of the day, I come home and it's just, you know, me and usually a slice of Joe's and I'm just sitting with records and a, a vision for something very grandiose, but I can only get so much done in a single day. You know, and I'm kind of frustrated with what I could accomplish in one human day as one human person. I think it's killing me, but I can't agree more. <laughs> Everything's killing me. I wrote a song yesterday called Everything is Killing Me. And uh, I don't know. I'm not as optimistic as maybe I should be about a lot of things, but yeah, it just it is so, I'm so possessed by something I want to make and that every day it's not exactly as I want it, it's, it takes a toll, you know?